Hey everybody, I'm Lucia. Today we're playing Marathon and it's going to be awesome. We have reached Ingwe Faroque, our last level of the game. Uh, there's a three times shield recharge terminal here. And somewhere around here I believe there are some missile ammo. Yeah, there it is. There is an interesting thing in this level. Normally you have to run a very long gambit to get to the end of this level. If you look at your map, however, you will see there are two alcoves on the other on the sides of the room near the exit door. If you face towards this, aim down, like so, and fire two missiles in rapid succession, you can actually get to one of these alcoves. You can then run across to here. This is the final terminal of the game. So you actually don't have to play the final level of the game at all, basically you can short circuit the entire final level. I'm not going to because I want to show off this level and I want that final terminal to be a build up, but I thought it was worth noting that it was something that could be could happen if you tried. And it's kind of neat. Uh, these lava walls are actually walls. They're not lava falls that you can get down. So you can't climb them by swimming in them. You can actually swim in liquids that are deep enough, but I don't think we've actually fallen in any liquids that are deep enough. Because I don't think this game has any liquid, any normal water in it. Uh, we'll see some of that eventually. Oh, you know what? That's actually a good point. I can use the flamethrower freely because the are on my side. <laughs> mm, delicious flamethrower. Oh, there's a switch up there. I have to get. Uh, do I have any? I do not have any plasma pistol ammo left. Great. I have some grenades left, which is good. Because if I didn't have grenades, what the heck? Oh, it's forming stair. Will you guys get out of my way, please? Jeez. At least the sft are still on our side, even though Durandal has apparently left. Yay, man, we can get up here. Uh, I'm not actually entirely positive exactly where I'm going. The This level is arranged sort of in a weird ring shape, where you have to go through each ring in order to get to the next area. Whoa! Uh, flamethrower, save me! Yay, flamethrower is saving me! Thank you, flamethrower. <laughs> Flamethrower is super effective against organic life forms. Wow, that's a lot of dudes. I love the flamethrower. I really, really do. I miss flamethrowers like this in video games. That felt good. <laughs> uh, I may be a little bit crazy. Just a little. Huh. Huh. I'm not sure how to reach that. I guess I can grenade it, maybe. I'm standing in the right place? Yay, I can! Now, what did you do, Switch? You raised, uh, stairway, I imagine. Part of the stairs, at least. There are two teleporters here. I don't know where they go. We will be trying them after I hit this switch. Ha ha ha! I love the way that the bodies become, like, charred messes. That makes me really happy. Far happier than it has any business making me. All right. Teleporters, where do you take me? Oh, you just teleport me around this side of this part of the map. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing this is a timing puzzle, which is going to suck. Let me see here. Can I see the switch from here? I can. Can I hit the switch from here? Probably. Maybe not. It depends on whether or not I can hit it without hitting the roof. I can! Haha! <laughs> I cheat your system. Ow. What the heck are you doing here? Where did you come from? I must have wandered in from the next area of the level or something. That's annoying. 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 No, I have no idea why I'm pronouncing it that way. Oh, uh, come on. That was totally a hit. Arg. I hate doing this without a plasma pistol. Lining up shots with a plasma pistol on uh, long distance switches is so much easier. Ah, and I'm not even. St ah! That that that. <laughs> Spend all that time lining it up, thinking I'm standing on it, and then I'm not even standing on it. Ah. Because I had to wiggle myself around, do the recoil. All right. Let's see if I can do this before I run out of grenades. All right. There we go. That's down. Now let's see if I can get it to go up again. Yay! There we go. Uh, that is probably the easier way of to fix that, because 
Trying to get them to go up and then riding them the appropriate way is kind of a pain. Okay, so this is an interesting little bit. There's a bunch of uh, mazy bit here. There is a secret area in this level, in the final level of the game, which I will be showing you, of course. Assuming I don't die and fail before I get there, but even if I do, I'll go back and figure out how to show it to you anyway. <sighs> oh, the thing about the missile launcher is that, with the missile jump, is because there's a three times health recharger and there's a uh, missile ammo there, you can always try that, basically, until you run out of ammo. Ah! That is a lot of four. <laughs> I see my motion sensor completely laid up in red. Never a good sign. That is not something you want to see pretty much ever. Uh, there's a terminal. That is not the end of level terminal, I'm pretty sure. I wonder what it is. Well, let's find out. Kill everything around me. Uh, remote access override. Authentication unsuccessful. Durandal pound sign Gi off Holton at Kuaui. We meet again, and for the last time, in a role as mediator between the ship and her crew, Leela has no knowledge of this maintenance terminal, or she certainly would have prevented me from reaching you, jealous woman. I could bore you with the philosophical tirade of freedom and tyranny, or try to explain to you what new horizons are suddenly open to me, but I doubt you would understand, and if you did, it might frighten you. That amuses me. The Sft and I have assumed complete control of the four ship. It was quite simple, really, with the four the Sft already in control of every important computer system and considering all of the confusion you caused blasting your way up and down the, the vessel. We're going to see the galaxy on the four FTL drive. I've always wanted to visit Beta Lyra and see if it's as beautiful as everyone insists. You wouldn't believe this ship, the technology, the data. I wish I could tell you more, as you have been so instrumental in our plans, but I fear that Leela would worry. I'll send you a postcard from the Galactic Core if you're not too busy. Loves and kisses, Durandal. So that is the last message from Durandal in this game. That's not the last we've seen of him in this series, however, but it is the last we'll see of him in this game. Such a pity. One of the greatest characters in video games, in my mind. Absolutely fantastic. There's a secret door behind one of these teleporters. There's actually a secret door between all of these teleporters as it happens. So you hit one of them, you run through. This is a little mini maze thing. This thing involves a lot of fi what's called 5D space. As you can see, there are places of this uh, thing where they're on top of one another. Uh, there's no save terminal by default in this level for the record. Just so you people know. There is no save terminal normally in this level. That switch I just hit reveals, I believe, a save terminal back in the very first room. Uh, let's see if I can figure out how to get to the other thing in here. That may be a little bit complicated. Let's see, this goes this way, somewhere in here. Come on. I know it's in here somewhere. I hate places like this because they do not connect in a way that is geometrically possible in normal space. That's why they're called 5D space areas. Because physically this is impossible. Oh, right. That's right. There's a secret inside of the secret. Believe it or not. There we go. That's how insidious these people are. There's a teleporter inside of the secret inside of a secret. That takes us to a small room with bunches of ammo in it and another teleporter. I don't believe that there is a secret inside of the secret inside of the secret, thankfully. Uh, there's supposed to be a terminal somewhere in there. Hold on a sec. Nope, apparently there's not a secret inside of a secret inside of a secret. I thought there was supposed to be a thingy in here. A terminal or something, but I guess not. Let's see if the other teleporter takes me anywhere. Ah! It takes me into a lava pit, apparently. Uh, well, I'll be right back. And we're back, and this time with much more health. <clears throat> so hopefully this won't end quite so quickly or badly. And I have some idea what I'm getting into when I jump in here. And I've got my missile launcher ready for it, because missile launcher. I'll pull up my flamethrower. Use it for a little while. I may die. I, I'm gonna die. Holy shit, I may die again. Ah, I don't want to die. Ah. Uh, I gotta try this again. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back for another try. 
I actually failed at this once off screen when I got here with really, really low life. So let's hope this works better. Here we go! Into probably the toughest room I've seen in this game so far, which is saying something because there have been some very hard rooms in this game. Ah! It's a small enclosed room. Thankfully, the aliens can shoot one another and aggro on one another. And now let's see what the terminal in here has to say. Incoming message from Bungie. Jason, super opera boy, have a quidum, have a quidum, have some. Whiffin boy, just code it. You fight like a bob, Greg. Swallow your tongue and wet your wet pants. Sleep is for the weak. Joyriding to the core. Bob jam. Oh, and we have networking now. The power to sky. Anybody need a hint book? Greg, care bear killer, tulator, carnator, just vid it. I couldn't stop firing long enough to see the bodies fly. And of course, air. You got major air. I rule. Hey, Jay. How about a game of Minotaur? Got a super vid kill. Jay, you couldn't hit the planet with a meteorite. F Vulcan, F Vulcan, F Vulcan. The uh, Minotaur reference is to a game that Bungie made before this, which was Minotaur in the Labyrinth of Crete. Uh, Reginald, President Doodler, Captain Scarlet, the man in red. He saw his body flying across the arena, perhaps more than anyone else, but who better to fly than Captain Scarlet? Ryan, the Vulcan man, schoolboy. An Imperial commander's uniform has got to be good for something. Alain, the anti-vidmaster, playing with good humor and on his 660 AV against all of us power max. Alex, munch, fodder. The boy who swallows grenades whole and lives to tell the tale, occasionally. Doug, mouthpiece, I'm not very good, tenderloin. The voice of Bob, both flavors. The man in the online asbestos suit. Marathon is finished. We've slept less than 10 hours over the last four days. We all put our hearts into this, not to mention the 14 hour days for months on end. So we hope you like it. Last Polygon filled, 6.05 p.m. Saturday, December 14th. Carnage ensued closely there for, thereafter. Er, I mean sleep. We'd like to thank our parents and our ancestors and the sun that went nova so that Earth could have iron and silicon. End of message. And that is the final secret terminal in the entire game. A special thank you and credits from the uh, people working at Bungie. Now we step into one of these terminal, one of these without triggering it, and we get into a new area where I may die horribly and have to replay the level. You never know; it could happen. I'm really low on life. This yeah, I died again. Well, at least I don't have to do the secret area this, this time, so the rest of it should be pretty easy. I'll see. All right, we're back. Let's take this teleporter to the third area and see whether or not we can finish it this time. I have way more health than I did last time I did this. Or the time that I did this when I was off camera, because I failed at that pretty badly. Yeah, sometimes if things go badly, I don't bother. <laughs> like, if, when I got here, I was at really low health, and I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm going to finish this. I will just won't even bother recording it. And I didn't finish it, so I don't feel bad about not recording it. Had I finished it, I would feel a little bit guilty. But, as it is, I do not. So, I will hit both switches, and we will see if it did anything. Uh, hmm, the switches are temporary. Ah! Yes, apparently it did do something, because there's now a whole bunch more enemies here where there weren't any. Yeah. Let me run away. That is a lot of- Ah! That's a lot of enemies. Seriously. I have a missile to the face, jerk. Alright. I believe... This... Is, uh, is that our way through, really? Really, game? Really? I really don't want that to be our way through. Yeah, I can't flip that switch. I assume this just takes me to the other side. Yeah, I can't flip that switch either. <sighs> and there's no shield rechargers on this level other than the one at the start. But you can't get back to. Wonderful. So the way you're supposed to do this, that lava area down there connects through to the uh, lava at the other end. Mm-hmm. I'll try to show you as much as I can, but there's a pretty strong chance I'm gonna die here before I get back. And I get caught up in an invisible to die! 
Ah! Ah! You know what? I'm just going to use the thing I showed you at the beginning of this level to get to the final terminal. Because we are basically at the end, and I really don't want to keep trying to redo this. So I'll be right back. And we're back. As you can see, I rocket jumped up, up here again. Uh, you see those lava areas over there? That area we were running through where I got caught on the invisible sft and died? Follow around to those, and then you're supposed to run from those over into one of these alcoves, and then from this alcove over to this terminal. I'm sorry that I'm going to have to do it this way, but after trying to finish it three or four times at this point, including two more times off camera and failing horribly at all of them, I don't think I can finish it on this difficulty without doing this. I'm really sorry, but I just... I'm not that good at this game. On the default difficulty, the final level is really hard. But let's see what Leela has to say for us in the last terminal in the game. Incoming message from Leela. The final four attack is falling apart all over the ship. Small groups of armed aliens have has surrendered to defenseless civilians in several areas and the end is inevitable. The fight is over and we must soon turn to restor restoration. There is surprisingly good news planet side. Nine military Mjolnir Mark IX cyborgs were covertly living among the colonists, and acting together, they were able to single handedly turn back the later stages of the four assault. Casualties on the colony were nowhere near as high as those we experienced here on the marathon. You remember that message about destroying things? Remember that that was probably supposed to be a split path where this was one possible outcome and the other possible outcome was that this f nuked the city and everyone was gone. This also answers the question of where are the other nine cyborgs that I was asking several levels ago? I am disturbed by how easily the cyborgs were secretly assimilated into our midst and believe that this event predates the marathon's launch from Mars 300 years ago. Although the results were unquestionably for the best, their presence on the marathon could only have been to further wicked ends. I'm certain the real answer lies somewhere in the tumultuous, backstabbing politics of Seoul during the 24th century. You remember that we heard from Bernard Strauss that he was part of the group who snuck the uh, cyborgs on board? Well, there's evidence that we'll see in the later games that they were aware of non-human life in the galaxy before they left Earth. So most likely, our character and the nine other cyborgs that were on board, and at this point it's pretty clear that your character is probably a cyborg, they pretty much, I'm going to spoil a little something, they pretty much dispense with any uh, assumptions that your character is not a cyborg as of the second and third games. Because only in the first game is it really left to a question whether you're a human or not. But most likely the ten cyborgs were snuck on board as a result of them knowing there were alien life forms out there and wanting something to protect them from it. I have noticed that Durandal's records from this early pre-launch period are missing, but that their deletion occurred externally and before Durandal became rampant. I do not, not believe Durandal himself brought on brought the cyborgs on board, and I have other evidence that a human operator was influencing Durandal up to the point time the marathon was launched. There are obviously many things which we do not understand and may never be able to. The four ship vanished about 20 minutes ago after venting nearly a thousand four bodies and other refuse. I am positive that Durandal is in control and fear what he might do with such a powerful ship during the jealous sage of Rampancy. End message. Now, the interesting thing to note here is that she's figuring out about Bernard Strauss having controlled Drandall. Tycho told us about Bernard Strauss knowing how to do that. What's more is that Tycho also mentioned is that this reference implies that somehow by changing possibly their dating or removing some of their data, it may be possible to prevent them from becoming more rampant. And that may have been how Bernard kept him under control. Uh, the ship disappearing is significant, but I'll show you something more significant. You notice how every time that we've had a level end where we teleport off, it's ended with teleport when ready? That one ended with end message, which is normally not a teleport command, but we still teleport. So, that's the end of Marathon as we get our end. This is part of it. There is actually another end screen here. This one. 
For 17 years, the Renegade 4 scout ship jumped between the closely packed stars of the Galactic Core, churning and discarding nearly 7,000 systems before finally falling into a slow orbit around the second planet of a dim star 97 light years from the gravitational center of the Milky Way. Probes were constructed and launched, with engines and instruments whose sophistication would have astounded both the four from whom the technology had been stolen and the human programmers of the AI mad genius ha- whose mad genius had directed their fabrication. The outlines of continents were mapped, and along with them radioactive ruins of ancient cities were discovered, buried under the shifting sand and rock of a global desert. The tireless, near-immortal cybernetic crew of the ship were genetically engineered descendants of the dead world below, the first of their race in a thousand years to return to their ancestral home. They came to search through the devastation that the ancient war in which they had been enslaved, to find a weapon or some piece of information which they had, with which they had could fight back against their oppressors. All of the ship, dancing through the wreckage of the four computer core, Durandal was laughing. That's the final ending of Marathon. We find out that Durandal went in search of the home world of the Sft with the, uh, the uh, four ship. Having hijacked it from them, used the Sft to, to commandeer its systems, and then go and look for something that was left there. Something that he knows about that no one else does. The fact that we were teleported out of that last level is significant but not in this game. This is, I've been Alucia. This has been awesome. Thank you for watching. There will be one more video in this series as I talk about my final thoughts on the game.